These six stages fall into three categories, what he called pre-conventional moral reasoning, conventional moral reasoning, and post-conventional moral reasoning. Okay, you might have guessed that after the pre and conventional, but those were the three phases, and broadly, they could be termed or framed in terms of what the motivation is for acting morally. In the pre conventional stage, why do you act morally? Because you may get caught, because you may get punished, because if you act morally, maybe you'll get a reward. What's in it for me? A very ego centered set of motivations for moral behavior. Then, transitioning into the conventional stage, how that is typically framed as is your motivations for your moral behavior are based on shared group values, shared group conventions, things built around social norms, rules, laws, even a higher level belief in the importance of law and order in a society transcending any given law, a notion that if you follow conventional rules of moral reasoning, you will be viewed by society at large as a good girl, as a good boy. At whatever developmental stage, your moral reasoning being built around society-wide rules and implications. Finally, the post-conventional stage is built around transcending that. The word transcendence plays a lot in that realm of Kohlberg's thinking, the notion that there are all sorts of example, examples of moral reasoning, moral decision making, where you are in fact violating the rules of society. You are breaking a law. You are breaking a social norm. What's the motivation there? The notion that there are things that are more important than the laws of society. There are things that are more important than what everybody else thinks. What this has become is the world of civil disobedience. This is the world of saying bad laws need to be broken. This is the world of people saying, I don't care if I get punished. I don't care what every Everybody else is doing, this is the right thing to do. That would be a post-conventional Kohlberg stage. The main thinking